so uh, would the uh, challenges be more typical uh, for small and marginal farmers i think you seem to be having a lot more work along with small and marginal farmers so is the uh, challenges of productivity and profitability uh, and sustainability uh, more uh, peculiar for small and marginal farmers uh, how do you see that yeah <laughs> i think uh, you know in term, in terms of excess to inputs right what is the ex what are the kind of seeds that person is able to access what is the kind of agriculture inputs like fertilizer and so forth that person has access to to the soil quality you know we we often categorize farmer as the amount of land that person uh, owns it should actually be as to quality of soil that person owns because the amount of land i can own uh you know 20 he, uh, hectares of land which makes me you know which which categorizes me especially from the indian definition as an extremely large farmer but 10 10 hectares of land if it is an arid uh land for example or if it is a land uh, with uh, uh, with very limited nutrition and things like that um, it it doesn't doesn't give me that much income so land is not the most important thing the quality of land or the soil is the most important thing right so inputs in so access to inputs what are the kind of uh, you know and therefore the cost of production Uh, is is also we we often see that the cost of production often gets higher for a very smaller farmer because of their um, you know proximity to the uh, to the input supply and all of that right and so it it is a small holder farmers costing is is a very very big factor in uh, the small holder farmers profitability right uh, market is the whole issue right uh, and and therefore uh, i personally am a strong believer of uh, aggregation of small holder farmer uh, see with with having 1.5 acres of land that person's uh, ability to access inputs that person's ability to negotiate in the market or that person's uh, uh, you know positioning in the market as an important player can be very very limited but 1500 of them come together in form of an aggregated group whether you want to call it farmer producer organization or whatever form of aggregation you know it kind of makes it a good robust economy of scale right and therefore uh, their uh, you know their their uh, their uh, ability to buy for example seeds we have evidences uh, goes down by you know the cost of seed goes down by almost 20% because they could negotiate better then they take their produce to the market now this is like a huge amount of produce that has come out of 1500 uh, 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 hectares of land or so forth uh, you know the, that 1500 hectares of land Uh, and those people have better agency and so that's the reason i know pradhan has done a lot of work on self help groups and so forth so i think from an economic perspective giving an economy of scale uh, to the farmers and in some sense changing the definition of a small holder farmer uh, becomes very very important